Greetings and welcome to my brand new channel, Lady Gardenia's Magic and Tarot. Today we have a reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and for the month of September. This video is divided into two parts. In the first part we have a coffee cup reading and in the second part we are going to pull some tarot cards for you. You might want to watch the whole video from beginning to end or just skip to the part that is most relevant to you. The timestamps for each of these will be in the description box below. And yes, despite this reading being for anyone who has strong Pisces in their chart, Crosswatcher, you are more than welcome um, to my channel. Why? Because the videos I post are public. Anyone can watch or view them. <laughs> okay, so from the Monology Oracle, we have Full Moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Let me show you the beautiful card. And aren't these colors absolutely lovely? Mm -hmm. I would say connected to the crown chakra as well as the third eye chakra. Beautiful. You might also have Aquarius placement in your birth chart. If you are really interested in that, my dear, you can go to cafeastrology.com and um, calculate for free your birth chart. It's always interesting to know because we are not just our sun sign. We are a blend. Look at that. When I meditated for your sign, my dear, this card came out. In the Lenormand, Card number 35, the anchor. It seems to me, my dear Pisces, that in the month of September, you are, uh, basically, you are building the foundations for the future and strong foundations too. This is also building a legacy. This is um, planting roots. I would say this card is not only connected to your um, to your career, but also your personal life. And here, because we have seagulls and the sea, look at that uh, two dolphins now. That I notice. By the way, dolphins made for life. Just saying. <laughs> Here, the seagulls, the ocean. Some of you might be on a vacation or about to take a vacation. Yeah. After working really hard, time to rest. So let's see what what uh, messages come through. With your coffee cup. One, two, three birds. I would say news coming in. This also reminds us of card number 12 in the Lenormand. There might be people, my dear Pisces, around you talking behind your back. I, I see that also as gossip. The letter S might be of significance for, for you. Yeah, if that's not one of your initials, it could be somebody uh, dear to you. This also reminds us of the shape of a snake. Hmm. Let me show you what I mean. Look at that. Do you see that shape? Hmm? Number seven might be of some 
significance to you too. Seven, by the way, in numerology is the number um, connected to the 5D, to source or spirit. It's a magical number, a lucky number too. What else do we see here? Hmm. Do you see that? Two people, they almost look like cartoons. One after the other. Are you chasing someone away from you, my dear Pisces? It looks like that person is like shooing the other one. Saying something like, go away. Yeah, that could be indication of somebody bothering you. You might know who this is. And look at that. That almost looks like the world, isn't it? Here north america central america you can't see south america too much but then here you've got europe africa yeah some of you are traveling maybe thinking about going on a business trip or planning a business trip the letter l or i might mean something to you this also reminds us of a road going somewhere. Get that a heart. Some of you coming into union or uh, reuniting with members of your family, friends maybe. Look at that. That's a lady and she's holding a fan and she's like you know, cooling herself down with the fan, a little hand fan. That looks like someone flying. That almost reminds us of the full card, Major Arcana Zero, taking that great leap of faith into the unknown. Yeah, look at that. There's a range of mountains and here's somebody just jumping. It's like the universe is saying, you go first and uh, yeah, you take the lead and we'll follow. Your spirit guides and your ancestors want you to know that you are protected. Do you see that? That's a lady and she's wearing a long, beautiful gown. Could be a bridal gown. So if you're not getting married, someone close to you is. Or you might um, soon be going to some sort of venue or ceremony where you need to dress uh, smart. There's like a bird, falcon. It could also be an owl behind her. That could be one of your spirit guide animals, a totem animal. Here is someone and it's like they are holding a kite or they have a remote control in their hand. Yeah, like um, one of those remote controlled aeroplanes, they're flying something. What else can I see here? That looks like a deer. Almost reminds us of Santa, like Santa on a little sleigh and the reindeers. Can you see that? Um, basically flying, isn't it, in the sky, taking Santa somewhere. So are some of you already planning what you're going to do um, for Christmas? Or maybe um, 
source of spirit wants you to know that by Christmas time, uh, something really good is going to happen. That's a bunny or rabbit. So I see that as very good luck, prosperity, fertility. Somebody here skiing. Yes. So it seems to me that some of you might be planning to go skiing around Christmas time. Big heart right there. You are loved. You are adored. Okay, now let's quickly have a look at your saucer. I don't want to make this reading too, too long, my dear. <laughs> It looks like an animal, isn't it? Like a tiger or a bobcat. It reminds us of a fable, isn't it? Like hear a little mouse and hear a bobcat. Hmm. Ah, that reminds me of a fable. Yes, in fact, the hare and the tortoise. So, message from your spirit guides, my dear Pisces, is take your time. Slow and steady wins the race. Somebody needed to hear that. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, now let's have a look at your tarot cards. Oh my, oh my dear God and angel, my dear spirit guides and ancestors. What else does the viewer need to know about the month of September? What else does Pisces need to know about the month of September? I had already shuffled these cards, my dear, my dear, but um, I like to shuffle them on camera. I want you to see me shuffling them. Okay, let's have a look. The Hanged Man, Major Arcana number for the Emperor, Nine of Pentacles. The Chariot, Judgment, Four of Swords, Temperance, Page of Cups. Look at that, the Five of Wands in the reverse. And this card also wants to pop out the Four of Wands. Yes, time for celebration, my dear. Mm hmm the Four of Wands is also a stable family or home. This is a card of marriage. Uh, what else? Of peace, as you can see from the doves. This is the 1111 connection, a soulmate connection. And yes, um, a soulmate co connection is not just uh, a love connection. It could be a friendship a relative, yes, a connection we feel with a relative of ours. And here, what do we have? We have Major Arcana number 12, the Hanged Man, followed by number 4, the Emperor, another Major Arcana, and the Nine of Pentacles. The elevation of the Nine of Pentacles is the Empress. So what do I see for you? in the month of September, especially with this card, number 35 in the Lenormand, the anchor. You building, my dear Pisces, strong, uh, yes, a strong foundation, whether you are an entrepreneur, self-employed or not, this is financial independence, this is building a legacy. Hmm?
here with Major Arcana 12, the Hanged Man, and also the Chariot and the Five of Wands in the reverse. I would say yes, like we saw in your cup. And also with this card, um, you might be going on a vacation or taking some time to rest. Here, Major Arcana number seven. To me, a very good omen in any reading. Uh, this is victory and this is finally um, overcoming hurdles and difficulties. This is also a card of travel. What else? Here we have Four of Swords, Major Arcana 14, Temperance. Yes, definitely. Definitely, my dear Pisces, in the month of September, you will be having some peace and quiet, some downtime, some must, yeah, some most deserved rest and relaxation. And some of you uh, here with the Four of Swords, uh, healing healing is because look at that the five of wands is conflict in the reverse it's the opposite it's peace and quiet it's coming out of any sort of conflict or struggle so for those of you who have been struggling with your health these two cards suggest healing mm -hmm. and for some of you now now that i have a closer look Especially here with the Four of Wands, the Five of Wands in the reverse. Here, Major Arcana 20, Judgment. And if I put these cards together. And also this one, the Page of Cups. Some of you, not all of you, in the month of September, you will be reconciling with someone or making peace with someone. Someone who you might have been... Uh, but um, how am I going to say this? Uh, in, a, in a conflict with or disagreement. Could also be someone you do not see eye to eye. And because it's in the reverse. And together with these cards. I would say the month of September. You might reach finally. Yeah. After much re-evaluation you might finally make peace with this person yeah. and now my dear viewer I've noticed something really incredible we have here the repetition of the number four four the emperor Four of Swords, Four of Wands, Four, Four, Four. There is a message in that. Four, Four, Four. Grounding, work hard, create stability, save money, build a foundation, as I was saying. Be pragmatic, start working on your dream project. Your work will pay off. Okay, my dear, I hope you liked this. If you did, please give me the thumbs up, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a future reading of mine. Please comment on this video. I'd love to get some feedback from you. And soon I will be uploading some more uh, content. Until then, all the very best to you and your family. Bye.